there. My name is Kelly Dale, and I'm owner of Off the Beaded Path, which is located in Forest City, North Carolina. For today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a very simple ring that I call the bow tie ring. My little husband, when we go to church on Sundays, he'll wear a bow tie, and I think it's just the cutest thing. So that's why I made the ring, because when I started creating it, it looked just like a little bow tie. Now, to make the ring today, you're going to need six 6 millimeter bicones, one 3.9 millimeter Monty, 18 size 11 seed beads, about 25 3 millimeter just glass round beads, 16 inches of a 6 pound fire line, two needles, and 12 inches of 0.5 millimeter stretch cord. So go ahead and get your materials together and we'll get started. So to start off, I have a needle threaded onto each end of my piece of fire line. On one needle, I'm going to pick up three 11s, one 3 millimeter, and three 11s. I'm going to let those fall, and I'm going to pick up one 6 millimeter bicone and I'm going to cross my needles opposite ways through that one bead. I'm going to put my needles together and pull the bead down <clears throat> so that it's the center of my thread and this is what it looks like. On each needle, I'm going to pick up one six millimeter and let those fall. And on one needle, I'm going to pick up one size 11 seed bead and I'm going to cross my needles opposite ways through that one bead. On each needle, I'm going to pick up two 11s, let those fall. On one needle, I'm going to pick up one 11 and I'm going to cross my needles opposite ways through that one bead. So that when you finish, this is what you'll have. Each needle picks up one six millimeter. Let those fall. One needle picks up one six millimeter. And you're going to cross your needles opposite ways through that one bead. So that so far, this is what you have. On one needle, I'm going to pick up three 11s, one three millimeter, and three 11s. I'm going to come back through the same bead I'm coming out of to make my circle, and I'm going to use my other needle to go through and reinforce this one more time. So I'm just going back through those same beads that I just added with the other needle. And then go through the six millimeter so that your threads are coming out opposite sides of the six millimeters. With my right hand needle, I'm gonna come up through the six millimeter there on the right and then through the size 11 seed bead right there in the center and then with my other needle I'm going to come up through the bead here on the left and then cross through the size 11 right there in the middle I'm ready to pick up my Monty it's got a cross section hole on the back, so I'm going to go through the holes so that it will make an X shape. Pull that down, and I want to cross my needles opposite ways through the size 11 seed bead that's up here between my 6 millimeters. So I'll go through with this needle. and then through with this needle. So 
so that Monty is now in place. I'm going to stitch through my beads to cross through this end 6 millimeter. And then with one needle, I'm going to go through these beads here again. And I'm going to tie the two threads together. a couple of good knots and I'm going to stitch through the beads and then trim off these two tails. Once you have your tails trimmed off, this is what your piece will look like. I'm ready to add the ring band now so I'm going to take my .5 Stretch Magic and stick it through the three millimeter here on the very end. If you want to put big eye needles on each end, you can, completely up to you. I don't feel they're necessary. Got my threads evened out. And to do the ring band, you want one three millimeter onto each thread. You let those drop, and then on one thread, you pick up one three millimeter, and you're going to cross your threads opposite ways through that one bead. And pull it down till you get your first little box of beads here, and then you'll continue one three millimeter onto each thread and then you pick up one three millimeter and cross your needles opposite ways through that one bead. You want to continue this until you reach the desired length of the band and be sure to finish off with one three millimeter onto each needle or each thread. Once you have the length of your band, I finished with one three millimeter onto each thread. And I'm going to come up here to the three millimeter on the other end of my ring top. I'm going to go through the three millimeter and I'm going to tie these two threads together. And you want to be careful not to get that little leftover three millimeter caught up in the knot. And I'm going to put a couple of good knots in here. Trim your tails so that once you do it, you'll have a beautiful new bow tie ring. Now, I have on the crystal, I did crystal in black here. For the sample today, I did the turquoise and clear. This is the vitriol and black. And then I've also done a brown sample with the crystal copper in the center. So all four of these rings are uh, kits that we'll have available on our Etsy page as well as the pattern. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make the bow tie ring this week. Um, come back next week when I'm going to teach you how to make the bow tie bracelet. So it'll be the bracelet to go with this ring. Hope you guys have a wonderful week and we'll see you again next week. Bye bye! Mm -hmm.